Thanks, Jessica. We're here now with Jim Jenkins, and we are here to talk about a big fundraiser for the Candles Holocaust Museum. Thank you for joining us, Jim. You are. You're welcome. Tell us a little bit about it. Friday, October 22nd, from 7 to 9.30, will be our fifth annual fall reception. Uh, at that reception, where we will have a, uh, a wine tasting that's hosted by Bourbon and Canal, and it will feature the opening of our new exhibit, and that's uh, been sponsored by the Wabash Valley Community Foundation and T's Helping Hands. But while you're there, you can participate in a uh, silent auction. We have four Disney tickets and a couple of airline tickets. And then some lucky person is going to walk away with a 50-inch flat-screen TV that we'll raffle off that evening. There so, you go. Yeah, should be a good time. And so if people want to get tickets to this, mm -hmm. do, they, do they need to get tickets? How do they go about doing this? Sure. I'd, I'd suggest they call the museum at 234-7881 or, vi <coughs> or visit our website. <coughs> visit our website, uh, call any of the board members. We have 18 board members, and you can purchase them at the door. And how much are tickets? They're, they're $20 per ticket, or you get a, we've got a deal for you. It's two for 35 and really, it's it's amazing that we have this in our area, and it's such a special, the Candles Museum is such a gem in our community. For people who may not know, kind of tell us a little bit about it and the founder, Eva. Sure. E Eva Kaur, uh is a twin, and she and her sister were experimented upon by Joseph Mengele mm -hmm. in the, in the uh, death camps. They survived um, just through uh, will, determination, mm -hmm. and and uh, just uh, being very strong people. And uh, Eva's sister has passed, but she's still alive and with us and here and lives here in Terre Haute. Uh, she's, she's had a, a very interesting life. Mm -hmm. And this museum is a result of her and her husband, Mickey's very hard, very hard work. And the Candles Holocaust Museum, I might add, doesn't address just the Holocaust right. which, uh, or just the killing of, of the Jewish people. There were there were 11 million people that were killed in, in the Holocaust, and it included various uh, groups, homosexuals and, and uh, uh, polit political people mm -hmm. with the wrong thoughts, Catholics, all sorts of, or sorts of people. So the Holocaust Museum is dedicated not only to, the, to keeping that the memory alive, but to, to forgiveness. Eva, mm -hmm. Eva has found it in her heart to be able to forgive the people who uh, were so horribly cruel to her. and. Uh, it's really a museum dedicated to world peace. Mm -hmm. A grand thought, I know, but it has to start somewhere. And it is very interesting, and if you haven't been out there, definitely we encourage you to go out and come to the fundraiser. Oh, we'd love to, we'd love to have you, please. Please Welcome. stop by and see what it's all about, and it's, it's a great place. Thank you so much, Jim. We appreciate it. You're welcome. It. Thank you. As we take you to break, here's another look at all that information for the Candles Holocaust Museum Fall Reception. It's taking place Friday, October 22nd from 7 to 9.30 p.m. The cost is $20 per person or $35 for a couple. If you'd like some more information, there's a phone number and a website on your screen. That's followed by a look at your events calendar for this weekend. If you're watching News Done this morning, stay with us.